So we got the civil rights lawyer right here. And this video is cop kicks dying man out of an ambulance. We, we're dealing with people who are so cold that they will kick a dying person out of an ambulance. Let's see how this, let's see how this turns out or, or how this came about. It, it's clear situations that show uh, what's right and what's wrong. I don't care if you have bias or whatever, you know what's right or wrong. But anyway, let's get started in this video. Again, this is the civil rights lawyers video, cop kicks out, kicks dying man out of ambulance. Let's get started. Sir, it's a wrap. Looks like they want you out. They want you out, sir. So I'm here today to share that I have just learned about an incident that has me deeply concerned. Exactly two days ago, I became aware of an incident that occurred on November 30th, in which an individual in the care of EMTs was on the way to the hospital. And for some reason, this individual was made to exit the ambulance on a city street. Okay. You told us you had pain from drinking water, and then you came in and you jumped at me and my and demanded oxygen, and you would not let go of me. You figure out if you can't breathe. I hear you. I probably try to control myself a little bit better. All right, sir. Come on. Come on. Yeah. So a man tells you he needed some oxygen, and you tell him he should. He would. You say that you would. You would be able to control yourself a little bit. Uh, you'll be able to control yourself better or that you'll be able to control yourself at all. Obviously, you never almost drown. I've almost drowned before. And believe me, you're not you don't have as much control over yourself as you think you do. No games. Get out. I was flabbergasted to learn that this incident occurred on November 30th. The person involved passed away from the health issue just before Christmas, and I was not pleased. That is the mayor of Rochester talking about a man who was suffering from a medical emergency who was kicked out of an ambulance in Rochester and collapsed on the sidewalk right in front of paramedics and his police officers before ultimately dying. This, according to the mayor, left him flabbergasted. Is there a constitutional right to not be kicked out of an ambulance under these circumstances. Let's look at the footage and then we'll discuss. That footage will show an ambulance stopping on a city street. It shows Rochester police officers being called by EMTs to this ambulance, but it shows a person having trouble breathing and being asked to leave the ambulance and wait on the street. I don't know what's wrong with him, but he will not get out of our truck. Okay. And he's got to go. What type of human being are you to what what type of human being is this? But you know, this makes sense with her being who she is and this man being who he is. Uh it makes perfect sense of uh, not seeing this person as a human being, not having any compassion, any empathy about somebody who is having health issues. You're a paramedic. You know, you're not gonna at least try to help this person. You oh I need them out of my truck like that. That's the type. These are the type of people who we have, who who we would call in case of emergency to help our family members or our sir. Family. It's a wrap. Looks like they want you out. They want you out, sir. No fight of this time. We're just trying to get him out. The way that you got in here and the way that you just got us out is you know. All right, sir. Come on. Come on. No games. Get out. Thank you. Okay. Two seven seven out. Okay. You told us you had pain from drinking water, and then you came in and you jumped at me and my and demanded oxygen. You would not let go of me. Two four seven. Yeah, because he's desperate. He needs help. He 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 saw an ambulance and think, oh, here here's 
here's some help where I can have I can possibly uh survive this or whatever I'm going through. I can probably I can get some help. There's an ambulance. He runs, he runs up to the ambulance. Hey, can you please help me? He's desperate. He's grabbing onto it, like, please, you need can you help me? Please, please. She's like, get away from me. Uh get out my truck. I no, we we're not helping you. Like, treat this man terrible. This terrible man. Mm -hmm. I was freaking out. All right. You freak out too if you can't breathe. I hear you. I probably try to control myself a little bit better. I'm not going to grab on anybody. You know what I mean? No, I'll try to grab for the door. Okay. I got in here. Okay. Okay. Now's your chance. All right. All right. Is that all you guys want, though? Just, no. and you can yeah uh who is that yeah brody i i can i can hear him struggling to breathe i just can't believe that they wouldn't even attempt to help help him and jim says they just sit around and watch him uh collapse on the bench so they'll rush him out of the truck no we're not gonna help you but we're just gonna watch you die what type of sickles what kind of sickos are these people that are getting in these positions of service but don't want to serve the people? Why are you getting into a position for service if you're not gonna if you don't want to serve people, if you don't even like people, if you don't have the compassion in your heart to help people, why even get in this field? Just for money, just just to get a paycheck? disgusting man this is just grab that yellow handle right there and that should help you out 277 all set for cars can you take me to the hospital man? no he tried to take can you take me to the hospital he say no what why what he asked to go. He asked to go to the hospital, and you tell him no. What is your job? How are you serving the community right now? This is a this is a member of the community needing help. He need life. Uh, he's he's having life threatening health issues right now, and this is how they treating him. She's wicked and disgusting. This one is just as wicked. He's just not saying nothing, and this cop is just. Doing what they do. Just evil people. I think these are evil people. No conscience, no, no compassion for people, no empathy, just soulless people in a position to serve people, but don't want to do that. Thank you, but honey, that was that was unacceptable. There was no reason for that. If somebody she she's saying there's no reason for that, the man is dying. Oh my, she is so. Oh my goodness. There's, no There's a yellow handle right next to you. All right, or not. Look at this, man. Everybody's just standing around. Look at this. We're just going to watch you. No, no help. A, no, help for, no help for the okay. Sidewalks right over there. Okay. Right over there. Because he's freaking out. I don't know what's wrong with him, but he's got to go. I don't know what he's going to do, but we're not taking him. I'm not going to grab on anybody. You know what I mean? No, I'm trying to grab for the door. I'm trying to get out of here. Okay. All right. Two seven seven. We should be separate cars. This, I want everybody to know that this could be your family member. This is Rochester, Ro Rochester Police Department. This could be your family member who that they, who they're treating like this. You know, a lot 
some people look the other way because it's you know it's just a black man and whatever but this this could easily be your your dad your brother your uncle your cousin your friend somebody We tried to take you, but honey, that was that was unacceptable. We tried to take you, but honey, that was unacceptable. What do you mean, tried to take him? Why didn't you just take him, drive him to the hospital? There was no issue. There was no issue. The yellow handle right next to you. Look how hard it is for him to move around. It took. It took all the strength for him to just get in that truck and get out that truck while he's struggling to breathe. So they made him get out of the ambulance and he walks over to this bench and he tries to sit down on the bench and he's clearly struggling. And very quickly after trying to sit on the bench, he ends up just falling off the bench and just going flat on the ground. Meanwhile, all these police officers are standing around. All of these medical personnel are standing around. And eventually, what's like a minute or two, they you know observe that he's on the ground and they start to go over to him and finally begin to give him some medical assistance so they wait till he died to try to help him look at this they just standing around he these people are demons i don't know any person who has a heart and soul who would just let some something like this happen you don't even have to be a medical professional you can be walking by as a regular person and see somebody struggling like hey man what can i help you out can what can we do to you know it look it looked like you're having a hard time right here what what can we do to help you out just a regular human being i see people passed out drunk you know and i check on them you know to make sure they're okay like i sit there and watch to make sure they're breathing all type of stuff but you got you got law enforcement and you got uh paramedics out there and nobody is helping them and their job is to serve is to serve the community that that's their job paramedics are supposed to give um life-saving medical attention and look and look at him taking this time to put on his gloves i kind of okay yeah you need to have on gloves but you should have been having your gloves from dealing with him from the start but they don't care they just look at him this is what kind of people are these these are not human beings you don't know what the hell happened get the fuck, man okay Bye. boss Oh. I grabbed your phone. What happened? Oh my god. Grab my monitor. Grab my monitor. It's unlocked. It's unlocked. Oh, stupid Here's what we know at this point. Um, we know that police were called to the ambulance to address y'all <laughs> this i don't want to i don't want to say i don't i want to keep this uh i don't want to say nothing too reckless but this dumb uh female dog runs over oh my god oh my god after you told him to get it 
after it wasn't a problem, you tell him get out your truck because you ain't having it. You ain't taking him in. Blah 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 blah. And and and, and now you see that he he didn't die right there. And, and now it's oh my gosh, oh my gosh, man, get your. You need some nightmares from that. I I hope that I hope that lives with you. Grab my monitor. You should be able to sleep good. Unlocked. Modern drug box. Here's what we know at this point. We know that police were called to the ambulance to address some type of situation. What's up, Joko? We also know that the police were there to hold this medical scene. And I can tell you that even though this was not a police incident, because we are not getting information from AMR as of yet, although we have issued a letter and we have subpoenaed records, um, we are asking our professional standard service from the police department to also help with this investigation. Because even though this was a medical scene, there are always lessons to be learned, particularly as it relates to what type of ambulance services or medical services our community are experiencing. I have asked AR AMR to conduct its own in-depth investigation into what happened that night. I want to understand why they chose to call the police. I want to understand why personnel required someone in distress to be removed from an ambulance instead of being taken directly to the hospital. We must get to the bottom of this. We must understand how and why this occurred and we must identify processes and safeguards to ensure that this does not ever happen again. And most importantly, we must make sure that those who are caring for city residents provide them with the same level of care and compassion that they will provide their own mothers. Exactly. The, the care and compassion that they would provide their own mothers. That is the entire problem with policing in America and government for the most part. So the problem here is going to be getting a case, a lawsuit to a jury. And I'll explain why that is. But if you could, this would be so powerful. I mean, you just look at this surveillance footage of this scene where you have this poor guy Disgusting. just laying there on the ground. You have the medical personnel in an ambulance right there. You have, I don't know how many police officers they're right there and they're just standing around. They clearly see him, but they don't care. They just stand around and do nothing. If you could get that in front of a jury, all you would have to do is play this footage and it would just be so powerful. You wouldn't even need to say anything. You wouldn't need to have any audio to it. You, you just play it and you let everyone watch it in silence, just like this. Look at this. Look at this. If that was their brother, their dad, their uncle, would they just stand around? This is what we're paying for. That's what this. This is where his taxes went to. This is where his family taxes went to. Look at him. Just letting them, just letting them fade away. Just letting them fade away. Nobody even stopped driving by. Look, look at this. Look how they left him. Pants down. Horrible. Horrible. They wanted that to happen. They wanted him to die. Oh, let's. 
That's him with the flashlight. Stupid as hell, man. Oh, right. hit him with the flashlight. Oh, hey, you okay, buddy? Buddy, you okay? So buddy? generally, police officers do have a duty under several amendments of the Bill of Rights to provide access to medical care to individuals that are in their custody. And that being the key point. So post arrest, police officers, if they're aware of some serious medical condition, have a duty under the Fourth Amendment to provide access to medical care, such as if this individual had been arrested first, that clearly would apply here under the Fourth Amendment. Even after arrest into what's called the pretrial detainee phase, there is a right under the 14th Amendment to have access to medical care under a slightly different standard. If the police officers or the jail officials are aware of some serious medical need. And even prisoners in prisons under the Eighth Amendment have a similar right to access medical care under, again, a slightly different standard. But here, the problem is, is this guy does not appear to have been in the custody of the police officers. He was not under arrest. This is not post-arrest. There may be some argument that could be made to try to say that he was in their custody at the time, but it doesn't appear so from this footage and from, from what I've seen so far. There may be some state law remedy available, but unfortunately, the U.S. Supreme Court has ruled that police officers have no general duty to protect you. They have no general duty to even get you an ambulance if they see you laying on the side of the road, and that's unfortunate because they're supposed to be here to protect and serve. But when they don't do that, when we try to sue them, they will bring up that U.S. Supreme Court case that says, oh, but we have no legal duty to protect you. We have no legal duty to serve you. And unfortunately, I think that's what might happen here, unless there are some fantastic legal gymnastics that are taken by a lawyer on behalf of this family. And I hope that's the case. I'll try to follow along to see what happens here. So please subscribe both here and at the blog at thecivilrightslawyer.com. Remember, freedom is scary. Deal with it. Oh, man. Yeah. I can't wait to post this video. When, when I when I chop up this live stream and uh, post this, I can't wait to post this video. And I also won't be monetizing this video. I can't believe that, man. They just sat there and let him. They just sat there and let him just fade away, right, right in front of him. Then after he gone, they they come they come to his lifeless corpse and and hey buddy, what happened? Everybody's what happened? What happened? So stupid at thank you. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! She started running. What? Why are you running away from the away from the truck that that has all the medical supplies that you? used to save him why are you running away from that truck oh my gosh yeah stupid man but you were so cold just a second ago uh talking about well he need to get off my truck and uh we you know that you don't do that man like talking him crazy then a man then died and you trying to act like you care all theatrics people don't care about us not one bit. If that don't if that don't show you that they don't kill that they don't care at all about you, I don't know what else you need to see. And for and for the people who lick the boots of, of these people and, and think they just doing their job and, and and helping us out and doing the right thing and all those and oh well we got good cops and blah blah blah. I was just talking about if you got I wish it was just one bad apple, but you see, you had at least maybe six or seven people out there. All those people are bad apples in every sense, in every sense. All of them are bad apples. Really, they're rotten apples, rotten to the core. They just all sat there and, and let that man die when they could have helped him. They could have helped him, but they chose not to. And not only did they choose not to, they talked down on him as they as they refused to help him. They didn't even politely turn him away. They talked that that like no compassion, no 
just cold lifeless people man lifeless people can't believe that man they just exactly right they lost their hu humanity yeah if they even had it it takes a real human being to break break programming and policy to just be human and do the right thing in that case it wouldn't matter what policy was in place i would have tried my best to help them especially being in a position where i could have i don't care what policy i i'm i'm willing to risk it to help somebody in that state but they don't they don't care about helping people they don't you know especially and, and you notice how i wasn't one person of the same color as him out there and you see none of them had compassion for him so i wonder if that man who they didn't help if he was if he looked like their dad or their brother or their uncle or one of their family members or important people in their life would they have just sat there and let him die like that would they have sat there and just let their dad pass away like that or their uncle father brother whatever would they let that happen to them 